Hey, pineapple growing folks. We've got some winter pineapples still working on around here. Um, probably have about a dozen on the plant. Um, we had a pretty good cold snap a couple of weeks ago and when the temperatures drop to like 39 or if you know you're going to get frost staying if it's not windy or uh, if you don't have your plants guarded from the wind somehow by a fence or something you're going to need to cover them in the at those times with a a soft fabric not plastic so some kind of cotton or muslin or wool and then when the temperatures get above that uh, 39 40 and there's no frost warning then you take it you take that that covering off so it can get the Sun during the day but I was going to run over here and show you I didn't cover any of our pineapples during this uh, recent cold snap and we did get a frost that stayed on the plants for some time and I did get some damage on some of the plants I want to show it to you real quick I gotta run over here because I don't have an editing tool anymore <clears throat> and I'll show you what happened and show you what you can do so this plant had a plant already on it and you see it's all damaged because the frost got to stay on the leaves and it just did, it burnt them but the, <laughs> this sucker that has come up on this plant it did pretty good it survived pretty well it just got a little bit on the edges there this one totally was obliterated but it had no protection really it had a, a, a pineapple on it this summer and um, then it uh, the, the leaves just got ruined so what I would do is just pull it up but you will have suckers come in on this plant and I just move it somewhere out of this space put a fresh one in its space and it'll it'll produce on these um, down here between the leaves and stuff it'll produce another plant at some point and then that one got damaged kind of bad on the bottom limbs but it's got several this is a pink pineapple plant it got several suckles, suckers on it all right so because this one has a sucker on it or a slip whatever and um, it had a plant on it I would cut these off and I use kitchen scissors I don't try to deal with um, pruning shears with this um, pineapple leaves because they are so thick and hard to cut and the scissors do the trick it's just a little more time consuming so you just cut all of that part off and then and then let this plant grow um, talking about these very tough fibers on these pineapple leaves there's a company called Penatex and they make products with their pineapple leaves and I think it's the most amazing thing in the world so I just wanted to hop on here as fast as I could tell you about um, doing that taking care of your plants in the winter now if you live in a place colder than like zone 9 <laughs> uh, you need to grow yours in a greenhouse um, during the winter time because um, they just they just won't they won't do very well for those extended times but you can still grow them but you just have to have them in a pot 